uh, hey everyone this is umakan welcome all of you to my channel so here i am with a very important video so in this video i will basically describe the uh, bar scientist officer group the experience of my friend devjani rao so she has appeared for the brc interview on 27 may 2022 just before two days so after her interview i have a great details analysis about her interview performance and how the question was came, coming in this time so after discussing each and every question so uh, i i thought i have to prepare a video uh, so that you people are uh, get some helpful information in this video so uh, that's the point nothing else so hope you will stay in this video till the end so it may helpful to you so let's have a discussion on the uh, performance of devjani and how he uh, how she performed in sadha so basically uh, in this time uh, the people followed the same pattern like whenever she entered into the hall the people asked about her uh, about, about her and uh, how she prepared for the interview and uh, what she was doing exactly in this gap of one year between her msc and uh, this year 2022 So be be prepared with the answer if you have any gap uh, in your academics. So that's the uh, different part of the game. But the main part of the game is uh, how you perform in the interview. Okay. So when the people asked uh, Devjani to write some uh, few favorite topics, so basically she mentioned that uh, she has prepared atomic molecular well very well. Uh, then she prepared uh, uh, write na- uh, nuclear physics, then quantum mechanics. Uh, and then uh, as usual solid state okay so basically she write four topics so the people uh, told uh, this is fine so let's uh, let's start the interview from the atomic molecular okay so basically uh, from the atomic molecular physics the people start the question from hydrogen atom okay they ask that uh, please write the energy expression of hydrogen atom so this is very genuine question so someone can write en equal to uh, minus 13.6 n square of electron volt okay So this is the general uh, discrete energy level of hydrogen atom. So once you write, uh, the people are asked to draw the energy spectrum or energy levels of this expression. So someone can write like it is a n equal to one state discrete energy level. This can be n equal to two state or uh, someone like n equal to three state. Okay. So this is the thing. But uh, the question was like uh, they asked that n equal to one state is degenerate or non-degenerate. Okay. so you know n equal to one state that is ground state energy level hydrogen atom is always non degenerate so this is non degenerate okay but what about n equal to 2 this n equal to 2 have four fold degeneracy this n equal to 2 has four fold degeneracy the thing is not he, uh, stop here the people ask that if you are telling that n equal to 2 have four fold degeneracy then why you are drawing only one line you should draw four lines Is it so? Because degeneracy means they have the equal energy eigen value. So if why you are drawing only one line, okay? So please think about this question, okay? So I am not going to give you the answer or like uh, how he perform in the hall. That is a different part. But why you how you can approach? Suppose this question is asked to you, so how you can approach? Is it due to any kind of perturbation in the system? to observe the shift of energy do you need any perturbation if yes then what kind of perturbation do you think this is due to broadening if so then explain it okay so this is the thing then the people asked about a question from uh, bose model that is uh, they asked the what what kind of quantization rule is used uh, while describing the bose model uh, this is uh, like l equal to mvr that is the quantization of uh, angular momentum which is equal to nh cos this is used uh, one of the most important postulate of both model so then the people uh, i think uh, ask some fundamental question from the vibrational spectroscopy uh, like uh, how vibrational spectroscopy or you can say ir spectroscopy is working okay so how you can observe the spectroscopy and how what is its implementation in the field of spectroscopy okay So this is very genuine question that from from spectroscopy point of view you can get the information about the molecular level information like to what kind of molecules what kind of bonds are present there you can get the information about the vibrational modes exist in the molecule what kind of vibration is there okay bond stretching bond length and the molecular information you can get from the spec uh, ir spectroscopy and it is always apply applicable to the polar molecules those have the non zero diaper moment okay so this is kind of question was asked from atomic molecular physics then uh, uh, the people asked question from the 
क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स सो क्वांटम मैकेनिक्स क्वेश्चन वाज लाइक द पीपल टोल्ड हर टू ड्रॉ द इनफाइनाइट पोटेंशियल ओएल ओके इनफाइनाइट पोटेंशियल ओएल देन द पीपल मेक दिस बेस वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड लाइक द पीपल टोल्ड दैट सपोज दिस इज नॉट ए फ्लैट सरफेस दिस विल बी लाइक दिस और यू कैन से दिस कैन बी ए लाइक लाइक ओके सो हाउ यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट द चेंज इन द एनर्जी आइज इन वैल्यू बिकॉज वेन एवर दिस सर्फेस इज फ्लैट योर एनर्जी वाज एन एक्स एन कॉ स्क्वायर एक्स कॉ स्क्वायर पाई स्क्वायर बाय टू एम एल स्क्वायर सो हाउ यू कैन अप्रोच दिस क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट द पर्टरवेशन बट द पर्टरवेशन इज वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इन दिस सिचुएशन लाइक वेन पर्टरवेशन इज यूज बिकॉज इन दिस लाइक पर्टरवेशन लाइक सीनोसिडल पर्टरवेशन दिस इज वेरी इजी बिकॉज यू दिस इज द इक्वेशन ऑफ द साइन वेव so you can take uh, perturbation hamiltonian as sign then you can apply for the correction energy like first order correction will be um, suppose this length is 0 to l 0 to l psi ye perturbation hamiltonian here and psi star del x it is one dimensional problem uh, problem so it will not cause any difficult to solve but the approach should be like perturbation so you should go through the perturbation okay uh, but the people basically uh, uh, played with her in the part of nuclear physics so i am going to the nuclear physics which she played an important role on her interview so how was the nuclear question so basically nuclear in the nuclear section the people asked to draw the binding energy versus uh, nucleons against atomic mass a graph to draw so she draw uh, like this this is for iron 56 okay Uh, this question is and uh, i mentioned several times please prepare very well this question the people also ask this question like please explain fusion fusion from this binding energy graph okay and fusion and fusion this part will be corresponding to the fusion part this corresponding to the fusion part lower atomic mass number so one c describe very well because he is one kind of expert in nuclear physics then the people ask that why it is so that from the iron from the right side of the iron you are describing it is fusion and the left it is like fusion so what lies in this region why this is so okay so now it is people they are asking like a very uh, it will seems like a question is very easy but you will face difficulty to answer question is very genuine that's the point you cannot say this is a, uh, sometimes i cannot find this is a valid or invalid question if you ask me myself but the question cannot be invalid so you have to answer but it's not like a formal question or a question coming in the entrance like uh, some or some question in the uh, question from any books this is a very genuine question if someone does not know anything about the subject so she or he ask you something like this is like a question someone is not knowing anything and she is asking you some questions from your answer this like something this this situation is like something okay so the people are asking very very genuine or simple kind of thing you will think like this is very simple but so why this is so you are think, once again asking yourself why this is so why i am not thinking about this question this is a situation nothing else so the people basically played with her in the nuclear part then uh, similar story as per the last year they are starting question from the beta decay so they asked to uh, write the energy spectrum of the beta minus so the beta minus spectrum is like this so the people ask that uh, if in beta minus uh, i think electron with anti sorry electron with anti neutron is emitted so if this anti neutron will not emit in this pair reaction okay so if not anti neutron how this spectra change spectra will change because this anti neutron will take lot of energy if anti neutron is not there i think the spectra will be like constant okay so the people asked for a proper explanation so please go through alpha decay beta decay and basics of nuclear physics very well otherwise it is very difficult to stand uh, in front of them in the nuclear section and the, your decision selection will purely de will purely depend upon the how you are performing in the nuclear physics section this is very hard to say but this is the reality okay so nothing else i think uh, a lot of questions are there but uh, uh, but in this time i cannot recognize all the question but 
this is the pattern of interview that going on inside the hall so be prepared oh. be confident believe on yourself go ahead thank you so much for watching my video uh, all the best wishes from my side stay tuned with my channel thanks for supporting thank you